Hi, this is a uh, quick video to explain that I've solved the issue of the um, inconsistency of um, uh, kilowatt hours um, per kilometre or how many kilometres you can do in a kilowatt hour um, and, and I've been complaining a little bit about it um, and, and, not really and not really happy with the fact that depending on where, or it seemed that depending on where you are in your state of charge, um, you might be reporting uh, 14 kilowatts, uh, sorry, yeah, f um, 14 kilowatts per 100 kilometres, or other times it might be 18 kilowatts per, per 100 kilometres. And it made uh, range planning um, extremely difficult. difficult. Um, and I couldn't get to the bottom of it. I, I did all sorts of tests on the battery and everything to, to, to um, work out, but I finally worked it out. It's really simple. So but I'll just give you some background. So when I went to Sydney, as you probably know if you saw the video and but my wife and I went to Sydney and um, we measured every 50 kilometres um, and, and how much uh, um, battery we used. And after the first 50 kilometres, we'd used 12% of the battery. Um, but after that, the 50 kilometres um, uh, distance we went, we're using like 15 and 18 um, percent of the battery, and um, I, I I put it down to the fact that you know the the in fact I actually said that the battery usage wasn't linear, which which shouldn't have been the case. But anyway, so I saw this a little bit um, from time to time, but and and, and I got I got hold of. Um, um, the the OBD uh, two um, uh, devices and you know, did some experiments with it, but I, I couldn't solve it. Um, I'm currently doing a video on state on on the health of my battery, um, and in doing so, I needed to bring the the uh, uh, battery down to zero, and my battery uh, state of charge was at sixty two percent. And I was in a bit of a hurry, so I thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll, I'll drive down to towards Ballina um, until my um, until my battery gets down to um, 32%, and then I'll drive back. So that's 30% down, 30% back. Clearly, I'll end up with around 2%. Right, wrong. So, <laughs> so I turn around at um, you know, when I got down there at. Um, 30%. Um, uh, actually, it's 32%, I should say. So uh, when I got to 32%, I turned around because uh, I just used 30%. So I was going to use 30% getting back um, and end up with 2%. And that made a lot of sense. I was a little bit nervous about it because if it was a bit wrong, you know, <laughs> I'd run out of battery. But anyway, um, so I drove back. When I got back, I had just over ten percent, so it took me thirty percent to get down and twenty percent to get back. So the, you know, here's that gremlin with a you know this inconsistency again. Um, anyway, I thought no more about it, um, and uh, actually it was about twelve percent that I had. Um, and as you probably know, um, I've got these um, frunks. Um, that I've, that I've imported amongst other things, but um, <clears throat> so I'm arranging for people to pick them up. And uh, one, of my, one of my subscribers came back from overseas, or was coming back from overseas on his way down to Coffs Harbour or wherever. Um, <clears throat> and what he asked was whether I could meet him at Rubina and um, you know, put his front in and, and he'd be off. I said, yeah, sure, no problem. Now, remember, I had 12% you know, battery on at Mermaid Beach. I said, okay, well, that's going to be a pain, but I should be able to do it. Um, by the way, I was able to do it fine. Um, <clears throat> so I fed the Frank, heard, heard, thought no more of it, and I got a text last night. And the text was, had a horrible trip back, um, almost ran out of um, our battery. Um, I can't believe how quickly... The um, uh, I can't believe how quick the um, the battery dropped from from twenty percent down to zero. I thought, oh, okay, well, he's got the same problem, and then it clicked. 
We had very strong winds yesterday and we had very strong winds the day before. The winds were from the southeast and they were 30 kilometers an hour, right over 30 kilometers an hour. So what happened? So going back to my trip to Sydney, um, I got up early in the morning, or six, about quarter past six, and there's no wind. The wind came up around seven o'clock, something like that, after I've done about 50 kilometers, and the wind was from the southeast, and it was about 30 kilometers an hour. Um, so I'll call him Fred. Fred, who drove down to, down to, um, you know, towards Coffs Harbour yesterday, his problem was he was driving into a headwind as well. Um, at 30 knot, at 30 kilometers an hour, and when I did my you know great 30 30 state of charge 30 down and 30 back, or 30 down 20 back, I was going into a um, a, a 30 kilometer headwind and coming back with a 30 kilometer tailwind. Now you wouldn't think that would make that much difference, but it, but it does. So if you double the speed of of a car, it actually increases the wind resistance by for a factor of four. Anyway, do, do your own research. That was the that that is the issue. The issue is you really do have to take into account um, wind, um, particularly if it's a strong wind, headwind or tailwind, um, and also rain. I, I saw on, on um, Chris um, EV um, trip EV great video um, where he was saying that he had to be careful because it's you know going to rain, and of course rain would make a difference. I um, Hadn't thought of that. I should have realised because I used to do offshore um, competitive offshore um, sailing, and uh, yeah, so we so I'm really a crosswind, but I never thought of it. So there you go.